Today I would like to show you a bit about my experiments on trying to achieve laminar flow. As you can see I have a few pumps and a few baskets of water and today I'll talk you through the iterations that I did in order to end up with the result that you see over there. It is not perfect yet but I would like to make an intermediate video to show you the process that, uh, that it's never perfect and that it takes quite a lot of iterations to get it perfect. The starting point is a simple fountain pump that I have here. Um, now I'll probably make a mess, but what you see here is that the flow output is not very laminar. So there you can yeah see you can visibly see that it, it's there we go. You can visibly see that it's shaking a bit and uh, yeah that it's not very constant. So basically what I did here, this is a second pump. The pump is going into a pressure vessel. Uh, basically it's a balloon and I put a balloon inside a yogurt, yogurt pot to prevent it from expanding too much because the balloon has a negative stiffness. And then after that the tube is going here to this special nozzle that I made. Um, on YouTube you can find many examples. Basically what's inside is this. So this is a 3D printed tube with a roster in it and the roster whole size is roughly 2 mm. I did some calculations on the Reynolds number and basically if you make the tubes uh, this size and with the length as you can see there uh, we should get laminar flow. So basically if the Reynolds number is below 2000 roughly uh, then you should get laminar flow and with this flow velocity together with the channel length and the uh, channel size uh, yeah we can get a pretty stable output as you can see i'll try to focus it there we go as you can see it's still shaking around a bit um i don't know exactly why what is interesting is that it is shaking from left to right as well so partially this is me shaking with the phone but also You can see here that the stream is going a bit up and down, but also left to right. If it would be pressure variations, then it would go up and down, but left to right, I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with surface tension and the water sticking to some surface that it shouldn't stick to. And also, what is not very perfect here is that I have a pretty long tube all the way there, and that can also give some disturbances. Now, talking about the... Um, uh, surface tension. What happened with the first iteration of the nozzle, that's this one. Um, the first iteration didn't have an end cap like this. So basically this here has an end cap that can be fitted onto the laminar flow nozzle, the tubes. And basically what happens if you do not have this end cap the water will stick to the, uh, the output velocity will be very low and the water will stick to the plastic with uh, surface tension and you will never get a nice laminar flow. So that's why there is a nozzle with a small hole. And that's, yeah, that's the current status on how to achieve nice laminar flow. Ideally, I would uh, like to have it more stable. So basically I do not want it to visually move. So let's say within a millimeter or a tenth of a millimeter of uh, movement. I don't know if that's possible, but hey, let's keep on trying. If you have any good suggestions, then let me know in the comments. And, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.